What does motherhood mean to me? Motherhood means everything to me. Um, I don't believe I'd be the person I am today had I not had my son. Um, yeah, it brings me joy every day. I'm a happy person because of motherhood. So for me, motherhood is responsibility. Um, so bringing a child into the world um, is a big job. It's not something that we could just take lightly, or at least that's what I thought, and I still think. Um, I'm a mother and also I'm a wife and I need to make sure that my child is actually part of a family and not the center of it. Because when we, are, when we can provide him with a stable marriage between me and his father, then he would be a happier child, he would have a, a, a better childhood and a better life. I am finally a mom of one. It took me about four or five years to get here. She's only two. <laughs> um, I had I had a doctor tell me that if I didn't become a mum in the next two years, it wasn't going to happen. And I have to say that I am so glad that I achieved my goal. Um, I took some time, thought about it, and decided that yes, I wanted to be a mum, and then went about becoming, doing, be, uh, getting there. I, um, I've chosen to be a single mom. Um, my daughter has no father. I used a donor. And I sometimes worry about how she deals with that um, or how she will deal with that. But we just work on it every day, just a little bit. That's just a whole, that's what motherhood is to me. You work on what is today and tomorrow and maybe next week. But um, we just work with what we've got now. We are a happy little bunch, the two of us. So motherhood was uh, um, a very interesting and unusual experience uh, for me, I think for everyone, because there's nothing that would prepare you for this and nothing that you could compare it with. I love the fact that the child makes your family very fun. So you basically laugh a lot more than you did even before because they're so funny. It's like having a clown in the house all the time. So I think motherhood means some kind of satisfaction for me. Um, having a child is a lot of joy. Uh, it um, helps you to see life um, on other, with other eyes, uh, eyes of a child. Um, I have um, given up uh, working to uh, take care of my, my daughter and I am very proud of that. Um, my husband is very proud of Watching that. Watching them grow is the happiest thing um, that I think I can do. And I think that I do have a lot of inner conflict in terms of wanting to pursue my career and um, also wanting to be there for my children. Um, and I, so far I've chosen to stay home. I have two girls and um, I feel like it has made a really big difference being home with them and um, these years go by really fast. And so I'm, I'm glad that I've had, and, and lucky, I know that I'm very lucky to have this opportunity. Uh, for me, motherhood is meeting new people and opening new world. Also, I basically didn't like children so because I thought they are just dirty. So every time I see children, I was like, oh my god, that baby is a dribbling, or oh my god, he's touching his mom with that dirty hand, oh, it's so dirty. I, was, I just didn't like them because they were dirty. But now I feel like, well, I don't think like that because now she's two and a half and it's so smelly. I love being a mother. It's made me much stronger. It's made me uh, much happier, and it's given me a companion for life challenge. Um, um, I think, especially when when number two arrived, because it's it's hard enough for a new mom, you know, learning the ropes of you know of, of dealing with uh, all the problems I would say, and challenges that that come with. Um, 
changing from being a couple to being uh, a family of three. So now we're a family of four, and I think uh, the biggest challenge for me is dividing your time because you know there's still only 24 hours in a day, but you just have <laughs> you have to dedicate. Um, your, and, and divide your time so that you feel that you know no one is feeling left out, um, and, and it's hard because then at the end of the day it, it seems like you're you're giving everyone else your time except your the time that you have for yourself. So I would say that's one of the things that, that I do miss is having um, time for myself. But um, you know would I go back and do th things differently and you know stay stay for example at the job that I had? No, I'm so glad that I have the chance now to be home with my boys and. Um, <laughs> and I think he's happy too. Uh, and um, I have absolutely no regrets. But you know, for all the other new moms, I would say just hang in there because it's 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 challenging and it's tough, but it's it's so rewarding. I mean, you know, these are these are things that you know money can't buy. <laughs> so. Well, before my baby was born, she's ten months old now. Um, I never thought it was this intense. Um, and motherhood means a lot to me. Before the baby, my life was all about me, and now it's all about the baby. And I was, um, in my work, very ambitious. I would work full-time, long hours, and now I don't see the point anymore. I mean, I see the point of working, but I now dedicate my life to my baby, and I don't ever regret it. Motherhood. 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 It's, it's my occupation now. Motherhood brings joy. It brings, um, it's actually very rewarding. I have done nine to five, seven days a week teaching, but um, it's nothing compared to being a mum at home. It's like uh, being, creating or molding, shaping, um, it gives, um, there's a sense of um, a supreme power. Um, uh, you can mold the child to what you want them to be. Uh, motherhood, with all that, um, the hard work that comes with it, when I say hard work, I do mean hard work. It's 24 seven, sleepless nights and all this. It brings joy and yeah. It's very rewarding, absolutely rewarding. For me, motherhood is very important, one of the most um, exciting things and dramatic thing that has happened to me so far. Um, motherhood comes with a lot of pleasure, a lot of joy, and but it also comes with a lot of hard work and learning. <laughs> you have to start all over again, learning things that you didn't even think that you had to learn. <laughs> but you have to learn back the basics of looking after a child. And knowing that that child depends completely on you. And you have to be there to make sure that they're safe and they're okay. It's a big responsibility. I always thought that I wouldn't have my kids until I was ready to have them, which I thought I was ready when I planned my son, but it wasn't like that. You're never ready. <laughs> I suppose you're never ready for that because <laughs> you're just going to find out after the baby born so what it's all about, motherhood. And even today, I'm still learning, and my son is too. So, um, for me, motherhood, I wouldn't change it for the world. Um, couldn't do without my son. However, I think it takes a lot from the mother, especially, um, to, to be completely, she has to devote herself to the child. Um, even if you have a partner, it's not the same. They just don't get it the same way, unfortunately. Well, being a mother makes you quite busy and you need to organize your time a lot. You need to learn lots of children's games and toddler games 
and go to activities and parks and socialize with other new moms. Say hi to the camera. Hello. <laughs> Every day I wake up with a smile. Right before I used to have depression and then um, yeah, not, not much going on in my life and James has just been absolutely magical. Um, I don't know what else to say. <laughs> Uh, motherhood to me is very empowering. Uh, before I had children, I only thought about myself and life was really easy and I traveled the world and I had a great job and when I had kids, I had to think about other people. So in a lot of ways, it made me more uh, empathetic and sympathetic. Um, but having said that, my children um, have meant a lot to me. Um, they, they, they empower me in ways uh, and make me actually strive for a lot more. My daughter is actually my rock. Uh, every time I'm depressed, I go to her and she's uh, she's truly like, even though we're not friends, but I, I think I rely on her emotionally a lot. And my son is the man, the third man who I fell in love with all over again. Um, he loves me in dresses, he asks me to twirl when I'm wearing a dress. So he, you know, he, he makes me feel young all over, all over again. Um, Life is hard when you're working and when you have two kids, but I would say that it's very important to have a very strong routine because that really helps me. Um, my children lead a very structured life, which I know is tough for them, but I think it's also good for them. And I, I'm hoping that they take away some of it to raise their own children in a way that I raise them. Um, and uh, life is wonderful. I don't think I could ever go back to not being a mom. Uh, it's the best thing that's ever happened to me. Um, Motherhood, as I say here, it has developed me and continues to develop me every day. Um, developed my sense of humour um, at things I never would have thought I would even have noticed, let alone found funny. Um, developed, oh, he's a good girl. Um, just, just my sense of the world. I think I notice things a lot more. I've become more in tune with everything that's around me and especially as she's now getting in the last few months to that stage where she's just pointing out everything and you start to realise how you've been kind of going around in a bit of a closed off way, uh, way from the world. Um, I think some of the conversations you end up having with people, with mom, other mums and nannies or not usually, or dads when you meet them about their, your children's poo that you just never ever thought you'd be discussing on a regular basis, like, what was the contents of the mm. and is it loose, mm. is it solid, does it, you know, just bizarre things you don't normally speak about uh, at dinner. It's, um, it's made, it, it's really changed my life, um, I feel like I have, I have a purpose, my priorities have changed a lot, whereas before I'd, you know, I'd, I'd be really um, quite stressed with work and and small kind of issues that now just seem irrelevant. Um, I, um, I I look at Arlo and, and I still can't believe that that me me and my husband made him. He's, he's perfect. He's beautiful. Oh. Motherhood has really changed me. It's opened it's opened me up quite a bit. It's opened up my heart. Um, it's made me very um, loving and, and open to so much more in life. Um, I've, I'm, you know, even watching the TV, I'm a lot more emotional. I cry more when I see things, you know, with parents and children. Whereas before, when I was younger, it, it didn't really affect me as much. Um, I'm a happier person. Um, it's made me more confident in myself because um, you know it's, it's a hard role being a mom um, very rewarding but it's made me more confident more stronger um, it's in it makes me inspired to want to be more in life because um, I got my degree when I had my first daughter and you know it's definitely given her a stepping stone so she's you know oh mom can do it so can I so it's definitely given me a goal to strive for more, from career-wise, life-wise. Uh, motherhood to me is everything. It's my life. Um, before I had him, I never realised how much you take for granted. Now that he's here, I just feel so lucky. And it's so rewarding, but at the same time, it's very hard work, but it's definitely worth it. Um, 
he's great, he's always playful, he's always been a good baby, he's not really a crier, so I'm one of the lucky mums in that sense. But I still put up with the sleepless nights and the teething and just in general just being there for my son whenever he needs me and getting the love back from him. Also the support from my family and just being able to take care of him and just he's just my world really, he really is and it's just such a good thing to be able to have uh, my own little boy and you know share what other mums and the experience they get from Being me. Being a new mum has been the most amazing experience for me. Um, it's a blessing and to be blessed with a child is something that I hadn't imagined that I'd, I'd get to a point where. Number one tip I would give to any mum is enjoy every minute because they go so quickly. That's when I'm absolutely tired. Let's yes, go. Mom. Let's go. Let's go where? <laughs> um, and the challenges um, of sleep deprivation, as um, my little one has not developed the sleeping skill yet. So, and then of course the um, challenges of deciding whether to try and go back to work, um, and then childcare and managing all of those things. I know. Eleanor, that's you. Mummy. And me. Um, oh. And the board, you see? See what it say? It says, it develops me. And that's you, that's motherhood. Yeah. Yeah. Got many years of uh, lots of joy with uh, Arlo. Um, I think my top tip for any new mum would, uh, and everybody always says, uh, coming up, you know, I lost count of the amount of times people said rest and rest before he came in in the last couple of weeks of my pregnancy, um, and I didn't. Um, but I really wish I'd uh, uh, made myself sleep more and uh, just relax uh, bef before um, the baby arrived because um, it, it's it's quite uh, exhausting the first few weeks. So that would be my top tip. <laughs> uh, top tip I will give to new mums is. Go with your gut feeling, um, you know, the health visitors and midwives are there to help, but motherhood comes from within and you will find that when you allow it to flow, it will flow and you will do what you want and you feel is best for your baby. Um, my top tip would be, if you are expecting, get as much rest as you can before you have your little one. And also, when your baby does arrive, make sure that you accept help and let your partner join in with the experience because it is a lot easier doing it that way.